Hello viewers, in this video I would like to show how to create traffic. The very first question, how do you will know that other nodes are with connected or not? For checking that, you we will simply do the pinging uh, tool from source to destination. Then you will understand that there is a connection between those machines or not. But before that, you need to also know your IP address for that you will check. So for this machine, I have IP. Um, this. And for this machine. So the This machine. So the first one I will do pinging from this machine to this machine. And then uh, let's do from the router machine to this is only to host connectivity. So ping 192.168.1.1. Dot hundred. Okay, this running. So for that, how do you will check that what traffic is running? You can run here. Check. I want to check the first Ethernet interface. Then yes, it is running. So you can see that source and destination first capture it. And it is running the ICMP packet. You can see. So so all information are there. What is my source destination? Pinging from this and this. Actually, I want to show you how to generate the TCP traffic. For that, let's go back to your, let's start another terminal and stop this. So I have already one program about socket program, info socket server. It will show me the IP and the port number 80, and it will show me the HTTP traffic for the application layer and TCP traffic it will generate. So I want to run that uh, InfoSocket server in my this um, my this 100 machine first. So it is a Java program, sudo Java C in, oh, first I need to check which folder. So ls cd desktop, it is inside of my desktop. So yeah, here you go. So sudo java c info so get server dot java password necessary. And then I need to just do a little bit of it. no extension here and then only Java. So it is running. Let's check in the browser in address bar what I need to write HTTP colon this and the IP of uh, 192. Uh, dot one sixty eight dot one dot hundred on port eight zero eight zero and then the server will be run. Yes, the server is running on port. You can see here server is running from um eight 
port. It's a local port. And from machine 192, 160, in this, this is the server machine. So I want to, and client will be connected. This port number will change in every session. See, the port number is changing by every session from the client side. It is random. So I want to connect this client machine 192.168.1.5 to this 100 machine. For that, nothing to do. Just need to open my browser. And I need to write the IP of other machine. So HTTP colon slash 192. Once it, it's already written there, dot one sixty eight dot one dot hundred and then colon a zero a zero slash. So I'm connecting here. My client machine number is one ninety two one sixty eight one dot uh, five in port number something. So if I it will be random port port number all has changed. This one here also changed. So if I open the Wireshark now, let's, let's run through. Um, yeah, it's already running. So if I change this, this, then this traffic will be also changing. See, here I have my HTTP traffic and TCP traffic, and I will get all information here. Not discussing about that, I just want to show in this video how to run the TCP traffic. That's it. So, here's from source to destination, this traffics are running. So, last not but the least, I want to close it. I want to show you how to use another options that is netcat. Let's run another remote terminal. Before that, let's close it. Control C and CD back. So I want to make this again the same server. So for that sudo netcat first let me clear it. Clear sudo netcat minus listen minus port number on 80. It will be on port number 80. Do listen on this port. Now from client side, first let me clear. I'll write sudo netcat then IP of my server. Know that the machine uh, where I need to get listening port that IP is 192.168.1.100 and it is on port 80. So it is refusing because I need to write 8080 not 80. So if I write here See both side. My enterprise name is Rosanna. Okay. Um, so you can see that where shark also once again. Let's let's see. Open a new terminal. This one control C and then where shark again. And this is uh, one more thing as whenever you will type something, then it will be an enter hit, then traffic will run, otherwise, it will not run. So you can see here the ARP requests are going, and then if you do again. The TCP traffic is running. Thank you so much for watching this video.